Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to be driving two Toyota Highlanders in two different trims over a period of a couple different weeks. So what we're going to do here is try to compare and contrast them. And if it works, cool. And if not, yeah, well, you know how that goes, right? So another three row crossover. Boy, are we excited. Not really. Um, but we make the best of it. So, Toyota Highlander. Yes, no, maybe? That's what we find out on this episode of rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So believe it or not, the Toyota Highlander is the fourth best-selling vehicle in the Toyota lineup. The RAV4, so I had to write these down because I don't make sure I get them right because, you know, commenters. Uh, RAV4 is going to sell in calendar 2017 roughly 410,000 units. Uh, the Camry, 375,000 units, significantly better than the old one. The Corolla, 330,000 units, and that is way due for a replacement. And uh, then the Highlander clocks in at 220,000 units, the Tacoma uh, right around 195,000 units. So a three row crossover, I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise that a crossover is up there uh, for sales, uh, but that they are gonna move in excess of 200,000 units, almost 225,000 units in calendar 2017. That's a lot. So does this vehicle feel like it should be selling that well? Well, probably. And I say probably because if you watch the channel, you know our love for crossover vehicles. And I think we've said about 17 times, hey, I'm kind of done with crossover vehicles. Let's get something else. The problem is, is that's all anyone wants to sell anymore. And so we're sort of stuck with it, right? So we try to make the best of it and uh, give you our honest opinion. And in this case, it's fine. It's a three row crossover. It has good room in the first and second rows. The third row is rather tight. Um, you know, I suppose if you're under seven or eight years old, you can get back there without too many problems and be comfortable. Uh, but other, you know, this one has got the captain's chairs in the second row rather than a a uh, bench seat and they're reasonably comfortable they uh, recline and move around just fine this has a DVD player for the kids uh, that by the way that's a oh, I'm sorry it's a blu-ray player not a DVD player let's be exact and it's got the remote headphones uh, but at an $1,800 option I think you're better served by uh, getting your kids a couple Amazon fire tablets easier to keep up to date you save yourself two grand uh, and we'll talk about pricing. Pricing is okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Driving this thing is actually okay. Uh, surprisingly better than expected. I mean, it's a three row crossover. It's not a sports car, it drives like a crossover. That said, cruising down the highway, uh, this is so quiet and rides well enough that 90 miles an hour in this, intentionally or not, is sort of effortless. Uh, not sort of, it actually is effortless. <laughs> and that can get you into some trouble. But, you know, it's, it's, it rides fine, it's quiet, it's comfortable. And I suppose if you're the standard suburban mom who's hauling kids in gear, that's what you want, right? You want something that <laughs> rides well, handles well enough, is quiet, <coughs> and can get the you and the kids to whatever activities you have going on, whether it's hockey, skating, football, soccer, or a family trip. You know, this, this will get it done. And as we said, get it done comfortably.
In this XLE trim, this is the volume leader. Uh, it's well equipped. I think this thing has. Well, let's let's look at the actual uh, options this vehicle has. As we as we mentioned earlier, it has a eighteen hundred dollar Blu-ray player and screen with uh, wireless headphones. And as we said, you should probably skip that one. Uh, sorry, driving through a very narrow street here in the uh, Tony parts of Birmingham. Uh, what else do we have on offer here? Um, body side moldings, $209. Carpets and floor mat, carpeting, carpeted floor mats at $225. And that's it. So all in all, full, uh, full stop, this thing clocks in with delivery at $43,000. Uh, $184. Honestly, for a three-row crossover in today's money, that's really good value. Right? It's, it's very fair value, if nothing else. So what does this do better than anything else? Well, fit and finish is very, rather good in this. The materials are all right. I mean, they're high wear items. There's no objectionable hard plastic. Uh, the center console, the, except for the center console, I should say here, where, where your knee bangs up on it, it's a little hard, but there's enough leg room with up for your leg room here that you don't do it too often. So uh, it could, it would prefer it to be a soft touch material or a softer uh, touch point there, but it hasn't been too awful. Uh, as far as the other technology in this, it has Toyota's Entune suite in it. Toyota wants to go their own way working with Harman Kardon JBL and do their own thing and not go with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Look, I am not the hugest fan of Apple CarPlay. It, it's fine and no experience really with Android Auto, unfortunately. This, it's okay. It's just, it's unfortunate that they uh, aren't going with what's an, essentially an industry standard at this point, but it's good enough. Uh, XM, AM, FM, uh, this thing still even has a CD player in it. I mean, they, yes, those are, those still do exist. I haven't tried it out to see how well it works, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, the stereo in here is okay. Uh, we played, you know, wired music through it with, with some higher quality music, and the stereo is fine. Um, if you're an audiophile, I doubt that this is a vehicle you're buying. If you're particular about music, again, I don't think you're going to be you know, this is not a vehicle you're into, but so for, you know, Bluetooth streaming and uh, streaming music from Spotify or Apple Music or Google Play or wherever you, whatever you use, it's, it's good enough. Fuel economy in this uh, is okay. I mean, it's, it's not bad for a three row crossover. Uh, it's rated at 20 in the city, 26 on the highway, 22 combined. We've seen roughly 24, maybe a little over 24 on highway. And they think we're on right about 20, 20 and a half for combined driving. So uh, one thing about the winter gas here, which we've just switched to in Metro Detroit, is we almost always seen, after doing this thing for eight years uh, and tracking it in these reviews, winter gas typically drops one to two miles to the gallon. We generally see right about EPA uh, mileage in our testing. And once winter comes, that mileage drops off one, two, sometimes three, it's right on. So really wouldn't worry about too much deviation off of EPA. It's, it's good for the class, or it's fine for the class. So overall, what do we think? Um, three row crossover, hard to get excited about for us. For most families, this is what they're looking at. Uh, at 43 grand, it's good value. It's a Toyota, so 300,000 miles, you're never gonna worry about it. You can own it for 10 years and not worry about it. You know, take it in and get its oil changed, keep up on the tires and other maintenance and brakes and you're fine. Uh, this is not a vehicle about passion, it's a vehicle about utility. I mean, it is a crossover utility vehicle and that's what it's gonna do and probably do very well. Uh, again, does it do anything better than other competitors? Uh, you know, it's kind of in line with best in class, honestly. Uh, you know, whether you like the styling or not, okay, materials are on par. Uh, some are better, some are worse. XLE trim, you know, we're going to try the limited later. Maybe that trim will be, have better materials in it. Um, but overall, not too much to complain about in this vehicle. Uh, if you're shopping for a three-row crossover, 
you know, you pick one of these things, it's kind of hard to go wrong with it. And that's probably why Toyota's moves, you know, 200,000 plus of these a year. If you like what you see, uh, give us a thumbs up, like us, comment below. Uh, if you're an asshole in your comments, I'll either, you know, nuke it or be a smart ass right back to you. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time here on rumblestrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive.